Welcome back students to our Pac-Man video series. In the last video, we started with a ghost um, and you can see that we've created a little blue ghost and we started with our little wiggle script. Um, what I'm gonna do really quickly is I'm gonna rename the ghost. I'm just gonna call it blue ghost because eventually we're gonna have other colors of ghosts. Um, and you can see here, there's our script when we start the next level. And we're gonna um, start with building the script to make the ghost move around on its own. Um, it's kind of kind of an artificial intelligence, but it's not really smart. Uh, so you can you can build it smarter on your own, but we're gonna just build a basic one. So to start with, uh, we need to go to our events. And again, we're going to um, when I receive a start next level. So they're both the same at the top. We're just going to keep them separated just so that this is the wiggle one and this is going to be the movement one. And so what we're going to start with now is uh, when you get here, it's already showing. It's already got a specific size and we're going to move it to a start location. OK, so I'm going to start out by moving it. Um, to a very, very specific location. I've actually done a fair bit of math on this already um, using, my, um, using my maze. And so I really want it to go to uh, X minus 25 and Y 71. Now you can do it down here in order to kind of see what it is. Um, or you can come up here and say this go to X minus 25, Y 71. Um, I'll explain more about those kind of details about why those numbers are there later on. But this number I know is going to work. It's going to be able to move around. And then I'm going to um, try to figure out how do I choose a direction. So in this game, what we want to do is it's got four directions. You can go up, down, left, or right. And so in, in the operators area, which is green, there's this, the fifth choice down says pick random one to 10. So we're going to pull that out. And we only have four directions, so we're going to pick random one to four, okay? And then we're going to create a variable, and this variable is going to be called um, purple. Oh, wait, sorry, blue. It's blue. Blue ghost direction. We'll get to purple later. And the really different thing about the blue ghost direction is we only want it for this sprite. OK, so make sure that you choose this for this sprite only. We don't want to confuse the other ghosts with their directions. We only want um, this ghost to be able to choose its own direction and all the ghosts should be independent. Now, if you see this up here showing up, I don't actually want it there. So all I have to do is just kind of uncheck this box and it goes away. Um, all ghost speed. I don't need that one showing up either. So I'll turn that one off and points is perfectly fine. I can leave points there. OK, so. Now I can set the direction, which should be right here. There we go, blue ghost direction, to, and I'm going to, instead of just setting a number, I'm going to pick a random number between one and four. Okay. And actually, I'll just move this down just so it's a little easier for us to find, and then we'll move that stuff out of the way. Okay. So, at the beginning of the next level, we're going to start always, he's always going to start in that location, the blue one is, and then it's going to choose a random direction. And so here we go with our forever again. So let's go grab a forever from the orange control area. And then we need four ifs, one for each, one for each direction. So up, down, left, and right. Okay. And so uh, let's just put those into the forever. There we go. So now it's a little bit more clear. Um, and so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to just to make life a little bit more clear, we're going to make blocks. So you've probably never made blocks before, but this is really cool is that you can make your own block of code. And so I'm going to start by uh, and then I just clicked it and then I'm not going to type uh, or sorry, not going to click anymore. And I'm going to call this blue ghost move up okay now you can kind of see i'm going to make four of these so i'm going to hit okay now i've got a blue ghost move up and then this this kind of big blob has kind of appeared so i'm just going to move it over here for now just so it's easy and then i'm going to say blue ghost move up and i'm going to put it in here so if something happens then the blue ghost moves up so i'm just going to choose that number one is up you, you can choose whatever numbers you want but i i like to kind of go up down left right so um, 
and if, how do I tell if the number one has been picked at random? So in order to do that, I'm going to go to the green operators area. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight down is the equal sign. So I'm just going to pull that over and I'm going to need four of them. So I might as well just pull over four right now. Okay. And the blue ghost direction is one, two, three, or four. So let's go back to the variables. We're going to get this blue ghost direction. So I'm going to put that in the beginning of each one of these green things. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to change the answer. So this one is number one. This one is number two. This one is number three. This one is number four. So number one is up. So if the, the random direction that's chosen is, is number one, then we're going to move up. If the direction is number two, then we're going to make a block called blue goes move down. Press enter. Hit OK. Drag over, move down. We haven't actually done anything yet. And you can see here there's another blob that's just magically appeared. So we're going to add stuff to that later. Uh, this is going to be left. So we're going to make a block called uh, blue ghost move left. Oh, if only I could spell. Cancel. Let's try that again. Make a block. Blue ghost move left. There we go. Spelled it right that time. And so we'll move that blob down here. And then we'll have blue ghost move left. And we'll put it in there. And then the last one is moving right. So we'll make a block called blue ghost move right. And hit OK. So there's that last blob. So now I've got four of these kind of pinkish blobs that, that are, we're going to add code to. And then I can um, pull this guy over. So there we go. So we've got the framework. Uh, so this is a really important video for us to do the framework. So the ghost is going to choose a random direction. And then we're going to do something over here with all of these purple blobs. But this is where we're going to choose if it's one, two, three, or four, whether it's up, down, left, or right. So that's enough for this video. So let's pause there, and then we'll make uh, we'll add to these blobs the code that we want to do um, the blocks uh, later in the next video. All right. Thanks so much for joining.